I'm rather excited to see what black or what magics in general, black and white. So we need Cura for crying out loud. I mean, uh, Belia has it. I almost called him Belial, which is like a name for Satan. And there it is. <gasps> Ooh, Aerio. Yes! Wind damage. And we don't have time magic, so we can't use gravity or disable. Nuts. Nuts in a handbasket. Oh well, we got Cura and Aerio, so let's make sure that these folk can actually use said spells. Um, just already have it? Oh, we already do. Okay. And then... She had what? Okay, she can do Cura. Cool. I'm, I'm sure... Uh, I if you can, actually. As a paladin. I don't care that much. Panello, how art thou, young lady? Um... Sure to use it? Yeah, sure you can. She's gonna use a lot of stuff. Fully crumble. Um, any any uh quickenings for Vaughn that we could snag? Is that it? There we go. White wool. We'll go snag that right quick because I would like him to have it. And spellbound, increased duration of status effects. So when he uses blind, it'll last longer. That's great. I'm curious if there'll be an Esper that'll connect us to here, which is heavy armor. That's weird, and more heavy armor. That's Still weird. And now are we off to, um... I guess we'll check out Miguelos and the armor shop and the weapon shop. Though I do not see us needing any... Well, weapons for some people, I guess. Like, I doubt I'll need anything for Lady Ash. Because she did just get the the, the blood sword. Soldier's cap, we got that. Okay, she needs that. Penel needs that for an upgrade. Let's snag that real quick. Wow, that's really good. A lot of speed, too. Chantress thing. They're good on that. She already has the golden shield. I was say, what does Home Slice use? Wow, wow. Um, That's good. Okay. Uh, they have a lot of inventory now, but it seems it's just carrying all the old stuff, too, which is neat. Which is neat. Where else? We obviously need to talk to the petitioner. Petitionee. Yeah, petitioner. We are the petitionee. Uh. Abanastrin, will it be you? Maybe? So many weapons, so little gill. Psh. Psh. What about all these pelts and fangs from the monster you've killed? You know, the loot? Oh, yeah, I know, okay. Nonsense. You're only making these hard for yourself, Kupo. Why line your purses with loot when you could have lined it with gill instead? But there's more than that. The more loot you sell, the more bizarre goods you... So that just explains how bizarre works on a basic level. Take the Amal Challenge. What the hell is the Amal Challenge? Uh, we already have that, so we're good there. We already have a longbow. Healing rod, ancient sword. That thing. User staff. Um, okay, so now you sell stuff. Wasn't the petitioner in here? Is it you? Cheryl. So you saw my bill for the Wyvern Lord, did you? Most days I stay in Rabinaster patrolling the shops and markets, but not long ago I was dispatched to make a survey of the outlying desert. Agree to hunt and I'll tell you what I know. Sounds good. Now then, where was I? Our orders led us through the Wester Sands and further west of the Sand Sea. We just arrived at the western edge of the Nam Yensa Sand Sea when we saw the sky, the Wyvern Lord. It didn't worry the others, but it certainly worried me. What if that worm were to attack Rob Naster, I thought. I informed the commander of my concerns. He dismisses a bad case of nerves, saying even if I did, if it did attack, the watch would soon stop it. Most like the city would be safe, I'll give him that, but it doesn't mean there wouldn't be casualties. I may be Arcadian, but I care about Rob Naster. Nice. That's why I posted the bill against my own purse. It ought not be do the Empire. It not I got I got not to do with the Empire. I want you to slay the Wyvern Lord for me. Sounds good. I guess we will uh, do that before we go to the Giza Plains. Oh, and I guess let's just go see Miguelo. I mean we've got uh, Pinello back, so he'd probably be quite happy to see her, actually. 
Hey, my yellow buddy. Buddy guy, how you doing? Yeah. Also, maybe go see the cartography uh, Moogle, see if he's got anything to sell us. Welcome to Gallo Sundries. Mm. Anything we don't have 10 of, we'll buy. Especially those handkerchiefs. We got, uh... Uh... We got a little more... Oh, what am I trying to say? Speaking of, where the hell is Miguel? Oh, there he is. A little more oil on us than I wanted. Hello, Pinello here alright. Do you have the slightest idea how worried I've been? That was it. What? Don't you tell me you're off running about with those sky pirates too. Vaughn, I can understand, but you, Pinello. Well, I suppose it's not all bad. The two of you are finally growing up, making decisions for yourself. <laughs> you feel you must. Whatever trouble you might get yourselves into will only make you stronger, I'm sure. Yes, yes. When you want to come back, you've only... No, no. You go about your adventures until you decide for yourselves it's time. And until then, don't worry about the shop or any of your friends. Just leave all that to Medigello, you hear? Now that that's decided, we should get down to business. If you'll be traveling, you'll be needing sundries. Yes, well, sundries we have. Can it give us anything? Nuts! Is kites in here? Can we see kites? No? Uh... I wonder where that kid is. I wonder if he is capable of being found. Um... Uh, just like, you know, m mumbling about the city. Ooh, a Moogle! It's the same one we stared at in a previous episode. Look at those little feet. Ah, I love the Moogles so much. I want one to be my best friend. I believe the cartography Moogle was, you know. Oh, up there, there we go. Would you like to buy a map, Koopo? What a shame, you already have everything I own. I'm sorry, man, I kind of feel, I feel actually bad about that. Uh, so yeah, like I said, we'll do the Wyvern Lord before we do uh, anything else. I wonder if we can teleport about. I'm gonna go with no. Oh well. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next episode of Final Fantasy XII. Take care until then. Oops, everybody, I forgot to come back and check the clan provisioner, so let's see what they have real fast. Gauntlets! Decoy! I think we already have gauntlets, yes? Yes, we do. But hey, we got decoy! So yes, everyone, thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, as we go into the Western Sands for the Wyvern Lord on the next episode. Take care. Welcome back everybody to Final Fantasy XII. We're going to use our very first teleport crystal sphere thing, whatever. We go to Tomb Wraith Bowl. Uh, so we can do the hunt for that wyvern. Um, I believe I'm saying it right, but you know, I've been wrong before. <laughs> but anywho, I figure why not show you guys the whole thing. And I'm still pretty much marveling at how good this game looks. Uh, compared to, you know, how it looked prior, before Shartox helped me with the, uh, the graphical up upgrade. So, to give you a little help on the map, we need to go directly to this spot, right up here. Uh, so we're actually quite close, which is great. Shehu, why is Vaughn in front? Let's be Captain... Bosch von Ronsenberg of Dalmatia. Alright, and since you know I'm shit with maps... Oh hey, I was going the right way. Ha ha! I just kind of thought it was the same map for some reason. I don't know why. Don't don't judge me. Oh, I forgot to refill my water. Nuts in the hand basket. Anyway, glad we had Libra up, because that would have been more aggressive than necessary. And let's see what everyone's levels are. Okay, the right people are up. Somebody level, very good. Now I think it'll be not up there, over here. I think. We went and spoke to the uh, person already, I believe. Yes we did, it was a, a guard. I do wonder if there will be a requirement to summon this thing, like maybe we gotta kill everything 
Uh, I think that was the case for the Pluckatrice at one point. Ooh, a treasure pot. Yeah, so read this real quick. Oh, Chandra's something. Let's see. Oh, I think that's armor. Um. Travel north of that place. Simon Bluff. Is that where I am? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, I'm reading the map and probably should be up here. Yep, there it is. Alright, so. Let's see. What can we do about party makeup? Uh, I guess Bosch is just out of luck. So we will be controlling Vaughn. And I guess actually we should bring in Pinello. Oops. Um, since she can heal and will kind of, you know, free up. Uh, what's her face? <laughs> a little bit. Let's see Arrow for the first time, too. That's a good looking spell. I'll tell you what. That's a good looking spell. What does that mean they're weak versus? I don't know. Alright. Let's take out this Wyvern. Alright, it's casting an arrow on us, so I I doubt it's uh to uh Ooh, we blinded. We did. Very good. And let's uh, use some green magic to oil it up. I wonder if that'll work too, by the way. Looks like it did. So let's use fire. Uh, looks like we didn't. Oh well. Oh well, we're using water against it. Let's try to get a look at this thing. There we go. There we go. That's a good looking, good looking beast. Let's be Fran, so I can see what everyone else is doing. Come on, cast water on it, Vaughn. Ooh, good damage, wow. Oh, shoot! Oh, wait, we're not going to be able to, to uh, steal the thing is flying. Grrr. Yes, come on, take it down. Yeah, we did it. Ooh, chest over there, or pots over there, too. The Wyvern Lord is vanquished! Let's go check out what these are. Oops. Nice butt, Fran, I'm just gonna be honest. Um, but I will see you all back in Dalmasca, so... Yeah. Alright, folks, here we are back in Amal's weaponry to talk to the... to Sheral, who is the person that gave us the hunt. Slaying the, slaying the Wyvern Lord, have you? You've done Robin Aster a great service, boy. After you set out, I thought I might have been overreacting just a touch after all, but there's not to be gained from doubting now, is there? You've done a man's job. Here's your bounty. Take it with my thanks. Thousand Gill, an Elfin Bow, and a Shell Shield. Those sound neat. She's a Longbow. Elfin Bow will be a an increase. What about the Shell Shield? will be a decrease, but it will automatically have shell. So, uh, perks everywhere. So we will get both of these for them. And equip the, um... Wait, is that called a Loxley? It is, you know, Robin of Loxley. Ah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. Um, and we will equip the, the shell shield whenever it is deemed viable. That's where it is. Um, shell sh Wow, it's way down there. Ah, <sighs> Dios mio. We'll get there eventually, guys. I don't care that much right now. But for the time being, let's give Fran her new bow. Elven bow and not losing anything, just gaining six more attack power. Um... So I do believe that this means we are back onto the storyline to an extent. We need to go down to Giza Plains at is, as it is the rains now. I know, we gotta bless the rains down in Africa, guys. Um, but... 
there is a hunt down there. That's what I was getting. That's what the butt was for. And I don't mean my butt because, well, I'm a white man, so my butt almost doesn't exist. It sucks, yes. It's, it's like daggers if I sit on somebody. Probably more than you need to know about me, but hey. Oh, wow, look at that. That looks incredibly different. Can we rent a chocobo? I've not to say to you, churl. It's bad enough that I'm soaked to the skin. No one bother telling us that it'd be the rains, and don't get be started about that village. This is why I hate those bloody provinces. Oh, look at that, Moogle. He's just so... so you better give me that angle. That's right. Is right. Can we rent one? Oh, hello there. You're no stranger to the yellow bird just behind me. I'm sure, yes. My friend, I speak of chocobos. Bo, the noble birds make for excellent steeds. Fleet of foot and sturdy of limb. Arduous journeys, journeys fly by the top of Chocobo Kubo. What? Uh. Well, we are just going to uh, the town, and I have an assumption that we would lose it at that point. But hey, cool, we can travel by Chocobo. It'd be quite upsetting if we couldn't, actually. We just gotta go directly south, I presume. Just move my book around. Hey, Liu. You're a different level? Oh, you're level 18. What level are we? 27 and 8? Or 6 and 7? One of the two. So we're still quite above everything. Whoa, you're new. Uh, I was about to ask if we could walk through that, but it looks like no. Hey. Oh, I was like, why can't we go around? Okay, I want to get to the sea. We'll just go around this way. This place does look a lot nicer though once it's rained, you know? Get some of its greenery. Uh, cause it was a bit barren when it was the dry season. You know, it's good for the environment. That's how you combat global warming, you just get some rain in there. Yeah. Uh, is that a treasure? No, it's not. It might have been. I didn't look that hard. I'll be honest with you, folks. A lot of pebbles from those things. It's a little, a little disappointing. But let's see if we can find that person. Hey, where's everybody? Who are you? Hey, you're who I need to talk to. The ring, the precious ring, gone, eaten, eaten by the crocodile. Slay it for me? Sure. The ring, her ring, find it, bring it here. Why is he talking like that? The creature near a bridge. Okay. Um, I think I can, will know where this is. Yes. Alright, found it on the map. So, treasure, ooh, Regan. Do we have that? The ability to use that yet with Nella? Um, probably, to be honest. Magic, oh, there they are. Protect, shell, cure, raise, oh, oh, the spell, we have that. Quite good. And Regan. Ooh, we'll get Cura hopefully soon. Ooh, I wonder what Faith does. Guess we'll find out someday. Uh, let's talk to the Moogles, because, well, you don't not talk to a Moogle. Well, this is perfect. I forgot everyone leaves the village during the rains. I'm a blundering fool, Koopo. What's that? A sad-looking man, Koopo. Haven't seen anyone matching that description around here, Koopo. How about you, weary sick? Phew. Just come from Osmond Plain, I'm dead tired. Not at all that far, just keep making your way south through Giza. Head out to the village here and you're on your way. <coughs> oh, I got a cough, hold on. There's a Gareth village out on the west end of the plain. Mind yourself if you head out that way though, the creature there are a murder. Okay, good to know. Um, so just keep going south. Uh, I do believe that the hunt we're looking for is pretty much right next to us. Oh no no, it's at the very south sections. Oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. It's, it's down here. So we will go on uh, this way. I mean, we could go about and, you know, attain new loots. But I don't really feel like it. Though there's supposed to be a Rose Corsage. But again, the, the gear... It, um, in my book, is not exactly accurate. That no, bothers me. Hi, sleeping frog. Sorry to murder you in your sleep, quite literally. 
Wait, was that the crocodile? I think that might be it. No, nope, it can't be, because it's not a big uh, thing. I think it looks like one of those, though. What is that called? A woolly gator. That is an interesting name. Whoa! Anything back here? Just you. Yeah, big fake. Ooh, Fran grew level 27. Very good. Does she have the double experience thing on? Not sure. Really hard to get any, uh... Um... Chains here, though, because... Screw it, let's kill it. Why not? Good practice for... Nothing, I guess. Um, the same. Hey, it's hard to get a chain here because there's just... You run into so many different things. Gator, the hyenas, toad, all fear leveling. And that's my problem. <laughs> Is this gonna be a potion? Oh, don't you know. Someone told me they're from Minnesota, so I was like, oh, Minnesota, and they're like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and I was like, oh, they're playing along, it's so good. I love it when people play along with the stereotypes that we are, are said to have. People often do, like, the Surfer California voice to me, even though, thankfully, I don't talk like that. But, hey, the person from Minnesota doesn't talk like, like that, oh, don't you know, either, but, you know, hey, you have fun with it. So I tried to be like, radical dude, all right, ha <laughs> Essentially, be the fish dude from uh, SpongeBob. Yeah. What is that way? A place. That's good enough to know. All right near a bridge. Ah! Jeez, cracker spat man found it. What is bravery? Uh, take it out. What level are you? We don't know. Well, we're doing just fine. Who's out? Oh, Vaughn's out. He's in water. Healing it like a scrub. Let's, let's just get rid of Vaughn right now. Bring in... Let's bring in Lady Ash. I haven't seen her for a bit. I don't want to be her too. Not oh, Fran. Hmm. Oh, that's right. She has the blood sword equipped, doesn't she? The chance to leech. Ooh, she got a three hitter. As do both here, like right after each other too. Quite nice. Yams, we beat it! Ring of the Toad. Okay. What if we get to keep that? But, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you right back at the uh, person that we're trying to send to. Alright, here we are back in the small village. Talk to Sadine. That's the ring. At long last, it is found. The crocodile, crocodile, you've you've defeated it. Yes. Twelve hundred gil, the serpent rod, and a teleport stone. Please, I beg you, the ring, the ring of toad, take it to my beloved. Go, I grow weak, so cold, so cold. Is this a key item? Yes, a jade ring bearing the likeness of a toad. The ring holds special meaning to the villagers who call Giza Plains their home. Well, that's sad. Well, we did get a rod, which we know is uh, Pinello's weapon of choice. She already has equipped. Ah, bah, humbug. Oh, well. Anyway, I guess we should get on back to that spot and go south to the Osman Plains. Well, I do wonder if there's anything, uh... Um we need to do. It just seems so simple to just run there. I really thought there was something. Well, oh, maybe we're just not at the point yet where you have to do something. Uh, we'll see. I might as well kill the fish. They drop fish scales usually. And if not, they give me experience points, which is always good. Always good. My nose itches. You need to die. What the hell was that? You know, I would like to use um, that new skill technique that Shades of Black, I believe that's what it's called. Let's 
just see what gets used. Ooh, poison. Well, that was good. Should just turn him into a black mage now. Poison again. Okay, that's so incredibly random. I wonder if it has to do with, like, what you're fighting. Uncertain. Uncertain. So we'll try it on this thing. Shades of black. We silence the thing. Well, I'd say it's not bad. We cast a frost spell. Very good. Now I want to collect your braid wool. Very good. Very good. Okay, so... Ah, screw it. Let's go this way. See if there's any fat loot to be had. Ooh, a critical for 1,300 damage. That is some... Some good stuff. Kind of looks like it stands out, as if it can move. I mean, it was moving. What the hell just happened? A gill bug trag. Your pot. What? How much lighter? Still 43,000, so I guess it's okay. But let's get rid of you and get her in, because I want to have this out if there are traps around. Okay, and there is a treasure chest pot right there. Oh gosh, 20 gil. Oh well. I wish I could know how much gold we lost, or gil we lost. Kind of like there are those same traps in Dark Cloud, which I really need to get back to playing again. I don't want to have an abandoned LP. I'm just really digging this game right now, and not so much Dark Cloud. Sorry. Right there, yeah. Left or right? Well, left, because it's the wrong way to go. Yep, because there's the treasure pot. Alright, everyone, avoid that. Please. Thank you. Hi, Aether. Worth it. What's this? A pebble. Why am I not surprised? Uh, you, sir, need to die. You're in the way. I know it was friendly, it didn't actually have to be attacked, but... Well, I want to. <laughs> 169 gil. Okay, that is something. 